be pulling though. Yeah. <laughs> You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and be a part of the team, you hear me? And caprices in them bitches lit Squatted on them sixes How them bitches sit Candy coated paint I had to drop a lick Seven one all the way to seven six And parlors and caprices in them bitches lit Squatted on them sixes How them bitches sit Candy coated paint I had to drop a lick What's good fam? Another day Another video What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not get out and chase your goals? Why not get out and chase your dreams? Why not get out and work on yourself? You hear me? Real talk, fam. Y'all already know we got the same 24, yeah? We got the same 24. So we got to get up out there and make it happen, you understand me? Don't know. Nobody out there is better than anybody else. You understand me? We got the same 24. Just got to get out there and make it happen. You understand me? Hard work. Always talent. You understand me? Nothing is going to fall in your lap. Don't expect anybody to give you anything. Don't nobody owe you anything. You understand me? So stop thinking that way. Just get up out there and make things happen. Real talk, man. But what's good, though, man? We on the roll with it right now. You understand me? Um... Currently, we're on our way to Orlando, actually. You understand know me? Gotta go get some footage up there in Orlando. Um, had to holler at the homie Lee. You feel me? Lee got a beautiful 71 hard top. You understand know me? Very beautiful 71 hard top. You know, I've seen it on Instagram a few times. Holler at the homie Lee. You understand know me? And we linked up. You feel me? We spoke about it. He like, yeah, man, come through. Come get that footage. So I'm like, okay, man. I'm coming through. So right now we on our way to Orlando, man, to see this beautiful 71 hard top. Boy, you guys got to see this one, man. You understand know me? It's a very beautiful car. But yeah, fam, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. You understand know me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. You understand me? Turn the notifications on because we do post content often. And on top of that, the content we post be fire. You hear me? Also, we doing a don't giveaway. It's the Don't Planet Don't Giveaway. We're giving away a don't. 1973 two-door hardtop that we're giving away. Never has a don't been given away before. We're giving this donk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. For a chance to win this donk, all you have to do, subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel. Click the bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. Post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So post notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post new videos so you can go watch and comment on them. Also, you must spread the word and tell everybody you know that like donks about the Don't Plan It Don't Giveaway. That's the rules for entering the giveaway. Don't just subscribe and disappear thinking that you're going to win the don't because it's not going to happen. You have to participate on the Don't Plan a YouTube channel, meaning you have to watch videos and comment on videos. No, you don't have to comment on every single video, but you have to watch and comment on videos. It is very important. The Don't Plan it Don't Giveaway. All right, fam, y'all see it, man. The giveaway don't. We giving it away, man. Just do what the ad says and you'll be entered in for a chance to win. A solid starter dunk. 1973 Chevy Impala two-door hardtop. Just do what the ass says, man. But yeah, man, um, we on this road on my way to Orlando. You understand me? Go get this footage. Appreciate y'all, man. Like I say, man, I always say I appreciate y'all, but I really do, man. Like I say, because you guys motivate me. You understand me? You guys motivate me. And in return, I just want to motivate y'all. You understand me? But yeah, um, we on this road right now with it. And I see you guys when we get there. We gonna focus on this road, man. Let go. All right, fam. We made it, man. We in the old with it right now, man. Getting this footage, man. We had to come up here 
to the O Orlando to check out the homie Leroy 71 hardtop, man. Leroy, what's good, man? What's going on, what's going man? What's going on, bro? going on man we had to start the video off different man this time we starting off riding in the dome man you feel me my man got a nice 71 hard top man thank you bro what? i really appreciate that bro i really that's an honor coming for you appreciate you thank bro you very appreciate much, you bro. for having me man sure, bro. what's the um tell us something about this dome man what, 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 what you call what you uh what, what you got a name for this dome uh, you call it candy root beer candy root beer yeah candy root beer 71 on the dog uh-huh I, call it, okay. I ain't really came up with a name like that, but when we was talking about it, we were talking about the A&W uh -huh. root beer, because it got that same effect that A&W had. Yeah. So we, we just like, you know, I guess the A&W root beer dome. A&W like root that. beer, I like that, I like yeah. that. Yeah. What inspired you to get into the dome game? Uh, since I was a kid, man. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from where I was from, River at Beach, Florida, that's my dad, my uncles. Uh, all the dope was back in the days, or who I was getting money back in the days, had these cars. Yeah. And I just fell in love with cars since I was a little boy. So okay. I, like, I just, I always wanted, I knew when I got older, I was gonna get me a dunk. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Is this your first dunk? Yeah, it's my first one, bro. Okay. My first one, my first. I, I, I want a vert, but I'm cool with my hard top. Okay, that's what's yeah, up. Real, bro. That's what's up, man. So you said the A&W root bench right here, sitting on what size wheels? 26. Man, we had to start on the inside first, but we can't wait to show you guys the outside, man. It's really nice on the inside. Woo, y'all hear that motor? That boy had a motor. What kind of motor you got in there, boy? 383 stroker. 383 stroker. Yeah, yeah boy. That bit pulling. Oh. Oh, that bit pulling, though. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you drive it hard, boy. Yeah, man, my baby, I built it. I built it to be tough. Yeah. Not for tough. Okay. <laughs> Don't tough. <laughs> Don't tough. <laughs> Don't tough, bro. That was up. As we look on the inside, man, I see, fam, we're gonna, when we get out of the car, I'm going to show you guys the inside, but there's a lot of push buttons. Push button and stuff in here. What made you go with all this push button? I kind of wanted, like, the new school look. Uh-huh. They keep the old way, but I want to just throw a little flavor to my car because I feel like... So this is 2021. It's okay. 1971, but this is 2021 or whatever year, you know, yeah. it's car still around. That's what it is. Exactly. If it's 2022, if it's 2096, it's 2096 on. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, Originated yeah. in 71, but it's ready to be right now in 2096. Hell uh, yeah. Hell <laughs> uh, yeah. And you say you got a 383 stroker? 383 stroker, man. And you drive it dope all the time? I drive it every day. And every day I drive it like it's a regular car. I take my kids to school, football practice, home, whatever. Yeah. I take my kids in this car. That's what's up, man. What, what, what um, what do you think about the dunk game today? Uh, the dunk game today. It's a lot of beautiful cars out there. It's a lot of beautiful cars. When I say beautiful, bro, they beautiful, dog. So yeah. It's a lot of people got put, you know, car dunks in the game now. Yeah. But I don't know if they like love the dunk game. Oh, we love the dunk game. I don't know if it's for show or if it's for fashion uh -huh. or if it's just a wave because now it's a wave. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause yeah. this been a wave to me. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's been a wave for me. It just it was whenever I was ready to get one. You know, it was a process. Exactly. Yeah. And how long ago you bought this dunk? Uh, I had this dunk now for like seven years. Seven years? Yeah, seven years. Oh, right. you had it for a little while now? Huh? Yeah, seven years. And what made you decide to go with this combination that you got on the car? Uh, so I always was in love with brown. Okay. I was always in love with Brown. So uh, one day we was riding down the road, me and my wife. Yeah. And we saw a BMW. We saw a BMW that was uh that was brown that has 22s on it. It was nice. Mm -hmm. So I was like, baby, look at that car. She was like, oh yeah, that's a nice color. You need to paint that color. So I had hey. a car that, that color when I was in school. Mm -hmm. A little small car. Like she was like, yeah, that's still the same car, color yeah. you had in high school. So you know what? That's what I'm gonna go with. So I, I messed around and went into a shop one day, and one of my homeboys got a bird. Yeah. And he had took his off the frame and everything, so he had a dough jam painted. Yeah. A candy purple, just like your photo, right? Okay, okay. And I seen that candy, I put a, I put a brown on the car and I didn't like it. I saw that candy purple um under I saw that candy purple in his dough jam on his frame and stuff. My paint man was with me that day. 
He say, my nigga named Bob, he say, Bubba, this what I've been telling you to do. Do candy. <laughs> he say, candy root beers for your car. Telling you, Bubba. Yeah. And I say, I say, bro, that's crazy. Me and my wife are talking about brown forever. Let's go and get it. Mm-hmm. And we, I, the car was already painted, bro. Brown, like a regular brown. Okay. But once I saw that root beer brown, it was a whole nother story. <laughs> it was a whole nother, it was a whole nother different way of don't then as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. yeah. I see you say something about your homeboy had a frame off. Just now you mentioned your yeah. homeboy having a frame. Did yeah. you go frame off on this car? Nah, I didn't go frame off on this car. I ain't had a time. I wouldn't have fun. Okay. Because at that time, I seen everybody doing frame off. Yeah. And they were having a lot of problems. They couldn't enjoy their car. Yeah. So their car was sitting majority of the time. So as we were doing the car, I had all the things to change all the, you know, the stuff underneath. Okay. That That's new. You know what I mean? All the uh, coil overs and mm-hmm. uh, all the coil springs, all the uh, shocks. I did all that. New, yeah. New, uh, the little rubber thing going on the bottom of the car, the little bushes and stuff yeah, like that. Bushes, yeah. So I changed all of that. Okay. Yeah. Now the reason I ask you that is because like these days in a don't game, like it's like, it's like it's kind of like people make it seem like if you build a don't these days, you gotta go frame off. Like, how do you feel about that? Oh. Uh, it's, it really depends on, to be honest with you, it depends on your pockets, bro. Whatever yeah. your pockets gonna do. Yeah. If, if, and your patience, too. It, it depends on two or two things pockets and patience. Yeah. If they patience in, in the game and they pockets deep, mm-hmm. then yeah, go for him off because that way you know what I'm saying, you can paint it whatever you want to because these cars are built, not bought right now. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. If, if you even go, if they even go and just do that, they got the money to do it, do it. But yeah. if you want to have fun and have your car back faster, change all the important stuff and, and just work around it. Put, you know, the, the bed line underneath the car or whatever. Yeah. You ain't got to do all of that. Just to be, you know, have fun with your car. That's the whole purpose of having a dome. That's real talk. That's real talk, man. But I ain't going to lie to you, though, man. I ain't going to lie to you. These people, man, I know they're going to want to see the insides and the outside of the car, man. Let's go ahead on and find somewhere to pull over, man. Okay. And we can show them the inside and the outside. Okay. Fam, we about to pull over, man, so y'all can see what this car look like. This car is real nice, man. Real nice. Size of this car, I know you guys couldn't wait to see it, man. See the details on the inside. Look at this. What is it like? Brown leather and suede? Nah, it's all suede, fully suede. It's all fully suede? Fully suede, everything fully suede. Fully suede, man. Y'all see fully it, man. Suede, top to bottom, doors, everything, dads, all that, fully suede. Y'all see the top, everything. Man, y'all see it, man. Like, what kind of seats are these? If I tell you, you won't believe it, bro. <laughs> For real? I'm dead serious. If I tell you, bro, you want to take a wild guess. Cadillac seats. I don't no, know. bro. It's Volkswagen CC seats. Volkswagen seats? Wow. Volkswagen CC seats, bro. Volkswagen CC seats. Man, y'all see it? Man, got the Volkswagen seats up in here. Y'all see it? Give it that. What is it supposed to be like a racy look of wasted race? Just give it like a new luxury look. Like I wanted my car to be feel like a Rose Rush with that old school feel, but feel like a the new school look, like Rose Rush. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want it. I want it real luxury. Yeah. Even though the all the old stuff look good and look real luxury, and I love that because I one day I'm gonna go back to that. Mm-hmm. That because that's make a car immaculate, but I just wanted that real luxury feel. In my dump. Like, mm-hmm. I wanted to feel like I was riding in the 21, even though it was old. Exactly. Yeah. What made you go with the gold package, man? So you got the well, gold. I always, like the, I always liked the gold and chrome. I ain't never like all gold. I thought all gold was just too much gold. Mm-hmm. So, I, as a kid, I always wanted gold and chrome on everything I had. Okay. Yep. That's what's up. Y'all see it, fam. You got the gold stand. What's up? I guess y'all already know that means the wheels must be gold. 
<laughs> then you got the gold dash. Squatted on them sixes. I'm telling y'all all these buttons, man. All these buttons. The gold AC vents. So this is how you put the car in park and drive and reverse and all this. Yes, sir. Right Push here. button. Uh, transmission. Transmission. I don't see it, fam. Push the start. Push. The, oh yeah, push the start. My bad. Yeah. Push the start, fam. Y'all see it, man. This '71 hardtop is fully equipped, fam. Just like I be telling y'all, man. You don't need a vert to be illing out here, man. You don't need a vert. You could drop a hardtop and be killing it out here too, That's as you vert. can see. Exactly. Yep. Just like a vert, bro. And I see you got all these uh the speaker grills and stuff like that. How many speakers you got in here? Uh, I got eight, ten, and think six eights and four twelves. About two or three tweeters. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got eight tens in here. Yep. Uh -huh. Seven, one, all the way to seven, six. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten. Ten what? Ten ten. Ten tens. And how many eights? Six. Six eights. Y'all see it, fam. Check out the doors. The doors was done nicely, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It looked like it came like that. Some people put speakers in the doors, and it looked terrible. No. But these these look good. It kind of looked like it came like that. Yeah, the dude that made them did a great job of making them though, but this really came from like the old, like the old bottom half of this, and mm -hmm. he built it out. Mm -hmm. So it can flush evenly, even if I had the bench seats in here, mm -hmm. it still would be crushed even. Yeah. It's, it's nice. I love it. That was, it is nice. Y'all see what's going on, man. Everything nice up in here. Got the nice center console. You understand me? Seats from a Volkswagen CC. I ain't gonna show y'all the food outside. Yet, right? Matter of fact, let me stop playing with y'all because I know y'all 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 want to see the outside. But y'all see, you got the iPad in there and everything. Bam! Y'all see it, fam? Candy root bill sitting on gold 26. Gold 26s. What do you think about competition in the don't game, man? I really don't be into competition like that because uh, these don't these cars are legendary, mm -hmm. and it's all about however you see it. Exactly. If you if you see your if you got that vision for your car when you drive your car, you, you build it how you want to see yourself in that car. Mm -hmm. So it's all about your mindset. So I can't never put my version of um I can't never put my version of a dunk uh, competition to somebody else's version of a dunk because they work hard for theirs just like I work hard for mine. Mm -hmm. I respect everybody's bills because it ain't easy to have one of these cars. Very you know, hard, you know. But it's very fun though. It's very fun. Yeah, exactly. You know, you gotta put in that work. You get to enjoy it though. Once you get it together. Yeah, you get to enjoy it though. Like once it's done, that's why I say like when we was talking about frame off earlier. That's why I was saying like if uh, you want to enjoy your car, mm -hmm. enjoy your car. If you if you got the time and patience to take it off frame, do do so. But me, I'm ready to have fun, man. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't buy no dunk to sit in nobody's shop for them to tell me that oh, it's, you know it's gonna take this much longer and this much time now. Just do what I need to fix so I can go and have my fun, mm -hmm. enjoy my car. Okay. Yeah. Now the other thing I want to ask you too is um uh people with well it, it's been you know sometimes if you look on social media like I noticed you got a hard top so that's why I'm asking you this question uh they make it seem on social media like if you got a vert you better than somebody with a hard top so how do you feel about that I just feel like don't give a dunk whether it's a vert or a hard top it doesn't matter if you were able to have one of those cars and be able to witness one of those cars mm -hmm. and enjoy those cars it's the same thing mm -hmm. like you can have a hard top and the hard top will look better than the vert you can have a vert and the vert will look better than the hard top but it's all about preference you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you ain't got to have a vert to feel like you're doing something or a hard top you know feel like you're doing something in the dog game as long as you got one exactly that's all that matters that's you got one. and one of the things we always ask people it's don't horror stories. Don't horror stories like something bad that happened to you while you was in a don't game, whether it be something you're dealing with a shop, whether you're trying to make it to an event, 
you know, and something you break down. Um, if you got one best horror story, uh, can you tell us? It, it really wasn't a horror story. It was just more for uh, me pushing the time effort. Uh -huh. it, the, 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 the time I, I kind of like brought the, the car to the shop. Mm -hmm. So like, so I, was, I, paid, I spent a lot of money rushing to get the car out of the shop yeah. for, a, for a specific event. And uh, when you have other cars around in the shop, they, they might not make it. Mm -hmm. They might throw you off like you gonna make it, and you make all the steps to make it. You have all the tools to make it, mm -hmm. and then he just some he just ain't gonna make it because there's a lot of cars around that car. Mm -hmm. That and the people coming in need need stuff done to get tuned or whatever. They gonna hop off that tune and go to another tune and make their money. Exactly. So you gonna go through that. That, that's a horror story for car owners, or don't owners. Yeah. Uh, any car, anybody who got a car, a nice car that's fixed up, they gonna go through the time you know, frame with the shops on when they skip it over them and all this kind of stuff with parts, you know. So that that would make it hard for us with these cars. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. And then, um, what was the hardest part about building the dunk for you? Finding the color. Like we talked about earlier. Finding okay. the color was the hardest. Because there's so many colors out there that look nice in your head and so many combinations. Should I say combinations? There were so much different combinations that you could throw together to make a car be bad, be nice, be fine. You know, but it's gonna only be one combination gonna make the car stand out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Make the car appeal. You know what I mean? So that that was the hardest part about building though, coming up with a great combination, coming up with great ideas, even starting the trend, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people uh stick to copycat, they stick to the same thing. So if you start a trend with it, then that makes it a you know a big deal too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So earlier you mentioned you had like eight tens on the inside uh -huh. and like eight tens and six eights. Uh-huh. Can we see what's in the trunk? I know, man, if you got all them high mids and highs in there, boy, you got to have something in that trunk there, boy. Man, y'all see it, man. Man, yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Trunk decked out, boy. Wait a minute, it's 412s, 415? 412s. 412s. Can y'all see it? Boy, you got that pressure back there. Yes, sir. Believe that. Y'all see it, fam. That trunk decked out, 412s. Gotta have that music in that dump, man. I remember one time I posted something on the ground, and somebody made a comment. I forgot what exactly what the comment was, but it was like against like it was something saying something about spare tires, like donks we don't use spare tires. And a guy was talking trash because I said that. Like you know, this is why you don't use spare tires in donks. You feel me? The trunk usually have. We 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 we, we use the trunk for music. You feel me? Exactly. Ain't no other way. Yeah, no. Even with the windows up, you gotta have that. You gotta yeah. have that jam. You gotta, have, yeah. You gotta, you gotta have, have a little thump, like two like gorillas in the trunk wrestling. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have that in there, man. Now, when you bought this car, it came with that that uh, vinyl top. No, I put this on there. What made you put that I on put there? This on there. I always liked it. Uh, vinyl vinyl tops and rag tops. Growing up, I like I I was into uh, I was into boxes too. Mm -hmm. Remember the box? I always wanted a bro hand with a half top with a rag on it. Mm -hmm. And a Cadillac, so I, I, I wanted one with a rag on it. Like rag, yeah. so like if you had a rag top on your car, mm -hmm. you had luxury on your car. It was like the luxury version of that car. Yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up. Can we see up under the hood? Three stroke. 
something to move around with. 383 stroke up under the hood, fam. That's that heart. Heartbeat of America. You already know. Nice. Nice, bro. Going with a 5 tech fuel jet. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's a fuel injector. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got that push to start, man. I, I need that for automatic start. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you need, okay, okay. I got you now. Yeah. I got you. That's I what's told up, you, I, wanna, I, I built this car to be a, a 21. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to push to start with my key to the room. 2021, 71. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. But yeah, man, we appreciate you doing this video with us, bro. I appreciate you having me on your video, man. That's what's Thank up, you man. That's respect, that's love. I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate There's you, dog. A lot though. of hard work going to these cars. A lot of hard work going into my car. Thank you very much, bro. Definitely, man. Respect for real. Love. Thank you too, bro. I'm about to go around the car, show the people the car some more. Y'all see it, fam. It's a beautiful hard top, man. Sitting on 26 inch gold wheels. Gold face. Chrome lip, upgraded brakes back there. Like I always tell y'all, man, if you gonna do all that work to the car, might as well upgrade the brakes. Upgrade them brakes. Y'all see what's going on. Big brakes in the back. And it's all about them details, for real though. Look at them details. Golden pallet emblem, gold wheels, gold on the interior, gold 383. This is a very beautiful hard top. Gold cage, gold headlight bezel, custom grill. Man. Also wanted to give y'all a shot of it, fam. With the doors closed, hood and trunk closed. Y'all get a good look at this thing, man. It's a beautiful hard top, man. Like I said, you don't need a vert to be ill out here. Look at this hard top right here. Yes, sir. A and W root beer, baby. A and W root beer. Gotta give a shout out to the detailer, man. Give a shout out to the detailer. We got the detailer over here that got the car all shined up. That beat me. What's good? The world renowned. Car wash king of Orlando. You can find me on IG at that. Company name, Mobile Reflections Auto Detailer. You gotta lift your own um, do rag up. Y'all see it, fam. Mobile Reflections. Auto detailing, phone number on there. All right, we got you. Shout out to the detailer, man. He got this thing cleaned up before the shoot. He said he put in eight hours on here, boy. No wonder that thing is shining. Yes, sir. All right, fam. Y'all see what's going on, man. We're putting in that work. Beautiful 71 hard top. A&W root bit owned by Leroy. Y'all drop them comments, man. That thing look beautiful. I don't think the camera does it any justice, but y'all see it, man. Y'all drop them comments, comments about that, man. Shout out to the detailer, car, car wash king of Orlando. You feel me? He got the thing right before we got the shoot together. You understand me? Very beautiful car. Fam, y'all part in the sweat, man. It's hot as hell out here, you know? I just realized we in summer right now. But yeah, man, Leroy, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. For sure. For sure. 
until next time, man, y'all keep it locked right here. Don't plan a lie behind the scenes, y'all hear me?